This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. I'm notorious for creating young adults in cast. I'm sure a lot of us are. I wanted to try to do something a little bit different this time and create a sim that was, well, seasoned. <laughs> I'm creating Ingrid Weber. You guys may or may not recognize her. Well, probably not because in the create a sim overview for Dream Home Decor, she was several decades younger. This is going to be our character for the Dream Home Decor or decorator gameplay footage. And I wanted to go and introduce you guys to her um, via Create a Sim. Now, with Dream Home Decor, um, I do feel like the cast wardrobe overall is pretty good. Unfortunately, some of the hairs were just a complete and total miss for me. So that's why I'm actually not utilizing one of the brand new hairs or any of the brand new hairs um, that come with this game pack. I'm actually using one for the base game update. So Ingrid does have a little bit of a backstory, but when it comes to her gameplay, I'm not not doing a mini series or anything like that. I'm just gonna play the game until I call it quits. <laughs> I just kind of want to see what it's about, you know? So Ingrid here, she is, as you guys can tell, an elder. Well, technically, she is an adult in the game, but I've actually aged her synthetically to mimic an elder so she doesn't croak mid paint stroke while renovating because that would be tragic. What also is tragic is the fact that she's a widow. So a few years ago, um, her husband, Blanchard passed away. They were married for like 45 glorious years. They were each other's person. <sighs> she loved that man with every fiber in her being. In fact, her lifetime aspiration was to find her soulmate, likewise to Blanchard. That's all that they wanted out of life. Once that was complete and he passed away, she kind of found herself in a situation where she felt lost and kind of was lacking purpose a little bit. Well, she decided to kind of renovate her house, refresh it a little bit, nothing too crazy because she doesn't have a lot of money. And she found like this new sense of, of purpose. She loved renovating. In fact, she thought maybe she could give a whack at becoming an interior designer. But given her age, she kind of thought the odds were against her. But we'll have to see. <laughs> so that's kind of where her backstory is. I'm just wrapping up her cast wardrobe. We're also going to be making a Blanchard too. I wanted to see if it was possible to utilize these assets that came with the game pack um, for older Sims, even elders. And I was really pleasantly surprised. I feel like even though um, a lot of these items are youthful, they can tailor towards older Sims. And like I said, I was able to create an entire wardrobe for both male and female sims using the pack itself. I actually really love how the outfits came out. I'm not gonna lie though, I always stumble when it comes to hot and cold weather clothing. Especially when we're only talking about the base game because this is something you're never gonna see if you don't have seasons But even if you did install these sims and you wanted to kind of like build on their wardrobe with the packs that you have um, It's still nice to have them clothed and not running around in their undies All right, so we're picking we're picking some makeup to throw on our dear Ingrid here She always loves to wear like a burnt sienna lip and some blue eyeshadow. We're giving another whack <laughs> at her um, cold weather clothes Thing. And I felt like I was gonna tell you guys something. Oh, the accessories. Oh my god, the accessories in this game pack are probably by far some of my favorites. I also really love the dresses and the um, wedge heels that come. Well, they're not wedges, I guess. They're more like chunky heels. They're very like fashion forward, trendy to this day. Um, overall, like I will say, like the cast items are pretty good. It's again, the hairs I'm a little concerned about. And I do talk about why that is in my overview in case you guys are interested in hearing me gripe about it a little bit. Very disappointed that there was no brand new aspiration. I was having a hard time pulling Ingrid's story together when there was really no rhyme or reason to tie her into um, becoming an interior designer. It would have been really cool to have that aspiration. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, but it was fun playing around with the hobbies and skills and the likes and dislikes. I'm not going to lie. Um, Ingrid is definitely a little stuck in her ways when it comes to her preferences. But uh, her husband here. Now, this was a doozy. I didn't know what the hell to do. I actually made Blanchard twice. And I made Ingrid twice, too. I was like, how can I make a different sim that I don't normally play with? Because I never play with elders. Like, I don't really see anybody playing with elders. And I thought it would be kind of fun and intriguing just to see, 
you know, how, how she gets along and also give the elder some damn love, even though, again, she's not really an elder. Uh, but Blanchard's cute. I love him. Um, I did, I did play around with the brand new hairstyle, which doesn't feel that new to me. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Um, the receding hairline and the short, the short buzz, not even a buzz. It's like more of like a tussle of hair. Um, it's kind of overplayed. I'm not gonna lie to you though. He does look very reminiscent of Bob Pancakes. <laughs> He isn't Bob, but he kind of looks like him. Uh, I love his little, I love his belly too. He's just so like, I feel like I could just go up to him and hug him and just squeeze and love on him. He just totally feels like a traditional grandpa. I will be uploading both of these Sims to the gallery of Gen 606 and you can either download them together as a couple and just make them husband and wife and Cass or, um, you can play with Ingrid or Blanchard. However you want to spin it is completely up to you. Um, as you guys can see, once I get into sleepwear, I was actually able to make um, the brand new top and bottom set into a full fledged pajama outfit. Pair it with some sandals or slippers and you're good to go. I thought that was a cool way to kind of, you know, mix and match these items. Hence why I'm showing you <laughs> uh, this Create a Sim so you can kind of see how you can you can play with these assets and kind of create um, a really distinct wardrobe, honestly. The, uh, the, the items that they chose are beautiful and different and I feel like Dream Home Decor just has its own vibe, its own essence, which I totally appreciate. So we're just wrapping up this Create a Sim nothing too fancy. Um, I will be having some gameplay footage uh, probably later tonight. Honestly, you guys, this weekend has been a whirlwind to say the least, but I am very grateful and appreciative to be able to sit here with you guys today and just, you know, gag over my love for Sims. So <laughs> as you guys can tell, Blanchard is a fan of these uh, knee-high socks. Anyways, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this cast. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead, comment, rate, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below with the sun doesn't shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. There was a time.